Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. Here we are back in or like on the mountaintop of the giants and it feels like it's been a long time since I've played Elden Ring. It hasn't actually been that long but I normally don't skip this many days. I didn't really get a chance to record over the weekend um, mainly because first of all it was Mother's Day on Sunday. Uh, second thing is this was like legit the first really really good weekend weather-wise uh, this spring has been pretty shitty uh, when it comes to weather and you know the usual thing is there was just a ton of shit to do all over the yard you know mowing the lawn all that good stuff getting the outside patio in order just you know the usual spring tasks which have been sort of just a little bit delayed because of the shitty weather whoa you deal a lot of damage so that's why I didn't really get oh, fucking hell didn't really get a chance to record until now but here we are we're back shit We're back and... Oh, sh what the? Oh, he's going... I thought he was falling again. I was like, damn, that doesn't take long. There we go. So yeah, we're going to continue. I really, really don't know where to go. Uh, I'm guessing we're going down that way. And then up. This castle type area looks fairly important. I think... If I had to hazard a guess on where we need to go, I would put my money, my cash money on that. On that castle. See, because... Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna be fighting these uh, golems or giants or whatever. They just... The amount of runes they give versus how long it takes for me to kill them is just it ain't adding up it's not worth it i know what you gotta you you can get him to smash the the statue it's actually a neat idea it's sh it's a shame there's only like three of these things in the entire game like three i've found so far cool yeah they do keep throwing damn checkpoints at you oh yeah if we're here so that looks like straight up the like the edge of the map and yeah we can go that way that's the castle A tower it's one of those magic towers yeah um I actually may have been... I'm pretty sure that <laughs> if I had to guess where we need to go, I would put my money there. Which kind of maybe screws with my idea, because then we do have to go backwards here. Right? Yes. Shit, you have a lot of HP. Skellington. Are these guys using just a standard spear? Because that is a pretty cool looking weapon. Still. What? The, do I have dropped runes somewhere? Oh, I get it. I get how it works. You need to go back that way and then over the bridge. We can get to the minor earth tree. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> These skellies, man. You see him standing there menacingly with his fucking scythe, trying to be all intimidating. <laughs> Look at them hats. So this is just basically a skelly graveyard. I don't know how that dealt so much damage that I got knocked off. 
It don't matter. And I know people keep telling me. This is a comment I've gotten quite a few times. People keep telling me that two-handing in this game is like not worth it. Apparently the amount of like plus damage you get from two-handing your weapon is like not worth it at all. Which is a little bit weird because, well not weird but it's good to know because I've been two-handing my weapon this entire fucking game. It's like I'm a two-hander. I tend to two-hand. What the hell? Skelly snakes. I like it. Yeah, I've pretty much been two-handing this entire game. Like, as I do in every single Souls game. It's a hard habit to break. Hmm. That castle sure as hell. Oh, hello there. Hello, Mr. Tibia Mariner. Okay, I need to like get some structure in here uh, on what we're gonna do. I'm gonna visit the Minor Earth Tree first. Because there's just always stuff to do there. As you can see by the Stake of America. But that wasn't a Stake of America. Oh, hello there. I was gonna say, where the hell is he gonna appear from? Ouch. At least this is not a putrid... I didn't hit the Stake of America. Fuck. Should I leave this to explorations? I feel like it might be something that's better suited to it, but... I don't know. Let's just get back there. I think what we can do is get Mr. Luthel out here. And I just do this quickly. At least it's not a putrid avatar. You know, the putrid avatar is the one that I find really annoying. Because that's the one that has, like, the stupid Scarlet Rod attack. Yeah, at least it's not that. Luthal. At least try to distract it. Damn. What is he doing? Are you fucking kidding me? This... This is a surprise. Good thing I summoned, like... It's just evening the playing field at this point. Fucking... Cosplaying... Pontiff Sullivan over here. So the other one, do they both take damage? Or is... No, that's that's like a legit, like a clone. It's still not dead. Luthal is though. No, it doesn't take... It doesn't take any damage. Okay. Good thing I showed this at least, like... This is like, semi-interesting. The only thing that's kind of a shame is... Oh, fuck. Listen, I'm not dying here. I'm double chugging like hell. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. I, w I was stun locked there. There, there was... Like, I hate this phrase. I hate saying there was nothing I could have done because that's very DSP-ish. But I don't think there was actually anything I could have done there. Um... Okay, yeah, so honestly, I think what I'm gonna do is I will come back here for, like, Elden Ring explorations, because it would just... Well, it would take a while. Oh, God, where do you need to go here? This place is 
Because now I'm looking at it and that place seems like the place, that castle. I didn't know there were so many castles here, goddamn. Which means we do have to go across that frozen lake or whatever. I think that's... yeah. I've changed my mind. <sighs> Can't warp. Uh, well, if we're here we might as well finish exploring this part. And then make our way back later. Naisu. <laughs> that giant... That giant head looks so cool. That's like a statue though, isn't it? Or like a carving. It's not like the giant dragon in Dark Souls 3. I mean, the giant dragon in Dark Souls 3 could have been... A carving as well. Slash statue. Stargazer's ruins. Bats, we haven't seen these guys in a while. This is all like the most Elden Ring explorations ish areas. I like ever. Sister? Now wait a second. Because you can summon here. Prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for her distant home. Her name is Aurelia. Is this... Yes! I summoned them, them right into each other. A seal was broke. <gasps> nice! Did I actually manage to complete an Elden Ring questline? Did I actually do it? I think I did it. Primal Glintstone Blade. Oh, this is some magic shit. Still, good to know. Um, yeah. Because I specifically remember, I remembered that the jellyfish had, like, a name. Uh, yeah. I thought it's not gone, though. I thought we'd lose it. So I'm sticking with Luthal. Luthal be the OG. Uh, and then the Mimic tier. We'll see about the Mimic tier. Actually, I haven't used it yet. Well, that felt good. See, you can do nice things in this game. Um, once in a while. I think what I'm gonna do is... That's totally somewhere where you can buy shit. That little shack. Except we'd have to go all the way back. What the... Oh, it's the Mariner. You know what? I'll leave Mr. Mariner to explorations as well. What I do want to hit up is... Death Rite? What the hell is going on? Oh shit, is it a... What the hell is that? <laughs> oh man. It's another goddamn... It's another Blackbird... <laughs> Blackbird Kindred? Black... Ba oh, God, I can't even pronounce it. Black Blade Kindred. Wonderful. Man, that command grab. If I had that command grab in Street Fighter, I'd be a happy camper. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of HP. It's just, it just got a totally different moveset to... The Kindred, which I just fought two of uh, in the last ER explorations. Actually, this thing has a lot of fucking HP. Hold on. What am I talking about? I'm talking about some stone shit. 
please be bleedable, bleedable. God damn, he's very cool. He's cooler than Kindred. I don't think you can bleed this thing. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think if you could, I'd have done it by now. Thank you, that's what I was waiting for, to hit your dumb fucking head. I don't have... Because I summoned the stupid jellyfish. I don't have enough for Luthal. Luthal would have been dope here. Because I was just about to say... I'm actually doing fairly well. And I'd like to... Not lose here. And for that I would have cheaped out on Luthal. Not cheaped out, but, you know. That frostbite. God, I'm getting damaged a lot. But this thing's... Ah, that's a dumb fucking attack. <sighs> Man, these late, late game field bosses are... God damn annoying. This is the third bird in a row, like, which basically does the same thing. Um, I don't have enough souls there for me to give a shit about, so I'm just gonna go. This is all, like, I'm writing all this shit up for explorations, because there's a lot. Alright, across the frozen lake we go, there's a summon thingy here. Let me guess... A giant skeleton fish thing is gonna burst out of the water. Soon. It's gonna happen. Believe me, it's gonna happen. Is it gonna happen? It's just a dragon. Borealis of the Freezing Fog. Who has more HP than even his... Cousin in Kaelid. Except this one just does ice attacks. And he's, like, impossible to hit. Oh, he does a lot of frostbite. It's gonna take me so long to kill this thing. At least you have, like, a good arena to fight him in. The worst one in that respect was the Scarlet Rot one. Exekies or whatever his name was. I don't know what they were smoking when they decided to put that thing into that arena. Yeah, this is gonna be a bleed boss. Like, look at how much damage I've dealt. We're gonna be here until tomorrow. I'm sure you can skip this dude though. It's interesting with these dragons, like how little they move. Like, they fly, but when they're on the ground, they don't actually move forward very much. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I've seen all the time, like, they get kind of stuck in one place if they go on, like, a cliff or something. Please tell me you can be bled. It's looking less and less likely. Yeah, they're, they're like, I'm not gonna be able to fight this thing, like... How long have I been going? What the fuck, man? 
It's not even the HP, this thing just has ridiculous defenses. Almost killed Torrent. Yeah, screw that. Like, what the fuck? I dealt like one tenth of his HP. Maybe I could Scarlet Rot it. Because people were telling me that I have that dog summon that inflicts Scarlet Rot. Apparently that thing is OP as fuck because Scarlet Rot does damage based on uh, maximum HP. So it just like demolishes these like late game bosses with a shit ton of HP. Of course the ones that can be inflicted with Scarlet Rot. Somber Miner's Bell. Is this... This is for the upgrade materials, isn't it? The somber smithing stone ones, yeah. Oh, and I, we haven't had one of these things in a long time, these sacred tears. This is very, very, very useful, actually. Because that's one of the things I'm noticing now, is that my flasks do a shitty job at... Uh, actually filling up my HP. Just because I have a lot of it. Alright, let's get the second part of this map. Oh, there's a thing you can jump up on as well. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Oh, at least an Evergel. Lord's Contender Evergel. First of all, listen, we're gonna get the map. I was really... Because I couldn't see the spring. <laughs> I was like, I'm really hoping I'm going the right way. The right... Oh! These things from Kaled. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it just mash against them. Didn't think we'd be seeing these things again. Guys, so fucked up that you have invincibility when you're getting off your horse. <laughs> I've seen people like abuse that too. Against like bigger enemies. It's like super abusable. It really says something, you know, when these things are infinitely less annoying than the standard dogs. Like, infinitely. It's actually kind of incredible how much better it is to fight the big dogs. Cool. White Ridge Road. I'm just going for the map. Oh, yeah. Good thing you weren't an NPC. Can always visit Turtle Pope to forgive. This this is like this is straight up blasphemous. Like Oh, shit. Yeah, I was worried something like that was gonna pop up. You guys remember on Blasphemous where you get up to that church? Where the big head is? Our Lady of the Charred Visage. That's the one. Yeah, fuck you. This is really reminding me of that.
That was a cool area too. Listen, I'm just gonna go for the map. Okay, bro. Just grab the map and... Good thing I didn't go forward. <laughs> Guess we have to go through here. Is that an NPC? Flame Guardian. What a bitch. His do doggos are like way more dangerous. This is where they just start dumping all the like messed up enemies from throughout the game. Um, no, you cannot. Okay, no torrent. I was gonna say torrent can definitely double jump up there. And there's another one right here. Hmm. Sorry, Flame Guardian, like, you're just... The amount of fight you're putting up is not a lot. I wonder if we just ride through. Cool, cool, cool. Is that... Yeah, that, that's, that's just the solution. Cool. I'll get back to all these places. That is a giant fucking chain. What is this place? I genuinely thought that was a ghost. Like, actually. Mountain top of the giants east. Nice. Cool. Wow, this is actually a huge area. Uh, damn. And there's still a lot to go. We have the Guardian's Garrison. This, this, this. <laughs> Naisu. Naisu, Naisu, Naisu. And we have what it looks like is dead giants and giants in souls games they always get fucked over don't they <laughs> like poor giants they've not had a break in the entire series flame peak like look at this look at this shit okay sorry i had to take a call there you know i'm still selling stuff on line <laughs> on line so Oh, this is a yeti. It's like a normal troll that we've been facing, except the yeti version. Um, yeah, shit like that just kind of happens. I get calls. I'm trying to cap off this episode neatly, but I honestly don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do in the previous area, but it's all like explorations material and we have this giant ass area which I'm pretty sure is the way forward god dogs it's always them dogs and birds I'm, yeah I'm pretty sure this is the way forward it's just dogs and birds that's not cool no, it's two birds. It's just, I don't know where this all will lead to. Three bird, fuck. Three birds is too many birds. One of these birds needs to fuck off. This bird in particular, it has the least HP. God damn the camera. I can't see anything. Where's the other? What the hell is that? You know what? Screw this. 
Why is there three of them? No, actually, not screw this. I'll, I'll kill them. Yeah, get fucking stun locked and die. Thank you. Is there another one? Okay, I thought there was another one for a second. These guys don't even give jack shit in terms of... runes. I don't know why I'm fighting them. I don't want to skip every single enemy. Something like that. It's no wonder they give you a flask back every time you kill one. Are they having a brawl? They are. Ooh, Church of America. That's what we're gonna hit. That's what we're gonna cap this episode off on. There's gonna be an invader here. You, you just know. Anytime you... Get off your horse. Get off your high horse. Bloody finger Okina. The samurai boy. Jesus. This guy has been putting points into his endurance. Smart move. What the... That's, that's it, isn't it? That's that skill everybody's using, or everybody used to use. It's gotta be. Because I know, I know there's a katana in this game that's like super OP. I think it's still super OP. It used to be... Like extra OP. Fuck. I'd be having a lot easier of a time fighting this guy if I hadn't wasted all my flask and if he couldn't dodge fucking everything, but that's okay. This is straight up... This is straight up some Sekiro shit. Yeah, well, okay. Um, it's time to go back without fighting anything else, because... We need to give this guy our undivided attention. Damn, this guy has a lot of HP. <sighs> Please don't tell me you have a heal. He probably has a heal, doesn't he? That is straight up Sekiro. <laughs> Uh, the fucking what you call it move. The what's the sword called? The super anime sword you get that kills you when you draw it. Thank you. Rivers of blood, that's the one. Yeah, this this is this is the one. Church of Repose. More like Church of Repost. Nice. Sacred Tear and what we got? Aside from a checkpoint, do we get a Melina dialogue? Let's see. We haven't had a Melina dialogue in I knew I just, I just knew it. It's a special title church. Just ahead. I'm glad it was you I 
traveled with. Oh. I must tender my thanks to Torrent too. Of course. Thank you. Torrent, please continue to lend your aid till the end. She's gonna die, isn't she? I can already tell, like it's what the Shibriri guy said as well. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough. She's for sure dead. But something's gonna happen. She's gonna transform into like a monster or something. Yeah. Um before I forget, I'm gonna use the sacred tear and as we slowly start to wrap up here, I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Uh we are going to yeah probably do the rest of this area in Elden Ring Explorations. We have a lot to do, actually. And then we'll head on up. Not up as in platforming. If you made it here, uh, if you're watching towards this far at the end of the episode, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I'm not really enjoying this part of the game. Like, pretty much since the... Like after the capital, this like entire giant's mountain top area has just been not like my favorite. There's been a dip uh, in this game, in my opinion. Uh, it really kind of feels like to me that this area is designed more to frustrate the player with like one shots and extremely powerful enemies and all that. If you don't have like 65 points in your vitality with like giga armor you're basically gonna get one shot by half the enemies. Uh, so this is not my favorite area in this game so far. Um, and not my favorite sort of section, but hopefully things pick up as we move on. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.